Gillespie uh, and welcome to today's web briefing. We will be introducing our latest released Redmap 5 to you today. Um, it is a web briefing so it's going to be fairly high level and we are attempting to keep this at under around about 15 minutes in time. Our agenda is fairly concise. Today we're going to start by looking at the journey we've taken since uh, back in the good old days, 20 years ago when we started out to where we are now and how much the, uh, our software has evolved over that time. We will then spend time looking at RedMap 5 from a fairly high level and then provide you with a, a quick live demo of the software before touching on what's next as far as where we go from here. If you remember um, some of the older standing clients, longer standing clients and clients with good memories, we started out with Doctory many years ago. It was a very simple product that evolved into Manage Easy. Uh, it was a very um, entry level type product, limited really to small businesses because of the Microsoft Access database and the fact that it really only stored TIFF images, not even PDFs, let alone Word or Excel. It had no integration with your Microsoft Office environment, including Outlook, provided no web access at all, and it was look it was a very limited search capability, really just field based. In the early two thousands we made a fundamental leap forward where we our manage point product. Manage point was as I said was a quantum leap forward in that it introduced, first of all, our ability to store all document formats, not just images, um, as well as providing web access. And that was a big leap forward and that a lot of our clients were now starting to work on the internet and we were able to provide internet access for them. Uh, we then started dealing with content searching as well. People were starting to use Google as a search engine and the whole concept of content searching became very important. And so we introduced concept, sorry, content searching as well as field level searching. And because the database was now a SQL database, it became far more scalable. So our client base fundamentally changed at that point in time and we started rolling out tens if not hundreds of seats at a time as opposed to a few at a time. That brings us to today. Um, and here we have, uh, we've just released our RedMap 5 platform. In some ways, it's similar to Manage Point in that it's a quantum leap for us. Um, so about three years ago, we made the decision that Manage Point was very much into life. Um, the code was getting a bit old. It was getting um, harder for us to maintain. Uh, it was written in old languages as well, so we needed to be looking at, at, at a complete refresh. And so instead of just rebranding what we had already, we went back to the drawing board and we have rewritten the product from the ground up in new languages. Uh, new toolkits, etc. Now, what that means is that the code obviously is very clean, so it's a way more efficient product that makes it easier for us to actually uh, maintain it. But more importantly, it brings to the table a whole bunch of tools and functionalities that we would never have dreamed of with Manage Point. So this isn't RedMap 5 isn't just a, a paint job; it is literally a rewrite. We've gone through two and a half years of, of blood, sweat, and tears to get this to you. Um, Fundamentally, there are some major differences between RedMap 5 and Manage Point. The first one being that it's 100% web-based. Um, it's written in a language called HTML5, which means that it's compl completely uh, device agnostic. It will run on an Android tablet, it'll run on a smartphone, it'll run on an iPad, it'll run on a computer. So the ability to have it running in these different platforms has meant that we are now able to address our clients' mobility needs. So we look at our client base, more and more of their people are becoming mobile. They aren't hooked to the office anymore. They're always out of the office dealing with clients or whatever they're doing. And they need to be part of the office even when they're mobile. And so with RedMap 5, you now have access to every part of the software that you need, uh, whether it's from an approving point of view, whether it's just searching and viewing. Uh, from either your phone or your tablet or your computer from anywhere in the world. So long as you're attached to the internet, you can deal with RedMap 5. Um, being web-based, it's also cloud-read. So a lot of our clients are now moving to the cloud and particularly, um, and, and have been for some time. So being web-based, RedMap 5 can be deployed into our cloud environment and, and 
and be provided you as a subscription service. It can be deployed in your own server environment or into your provider's server environment in their cloud. Um, one of the big differences that we've had, and it's something that's very new to Redmap, is uh, reporting. We have had clients for a number of years now really asking us, why haven't we got reporting? Why can't we access everything in the database easily? And so the new tool set that we're now writing, Redmap 5 in, automatically provides us with the ability to interrogate every part of the SQL database and present that to you, or you can provide your own reporting in a myriad of different formats. So the reporting can be straight Excel type reporting, or it can be very graphical in the way of dashboard widgets that we can create, or you can create, that are very graphical um, and show the data in various different formats for you. Uh, we'll take you through this in a second. Being web-based also uh, means that Redmap 5 is instantly a portal. So for a lot of our clients, we've been creating portal or external access to our clients for a number of years. Now with Redmap 5, it's that much easier. So the audience for the document can now be both internal and external. The stakeholders can be anything from your own staff to clients to, to providers to vendors to auditors. So the, really the list goes on. So the whole world can potentially be different because you can actually provide secured access to whoever you want to for however you want to from within the portals. Um, and being web-based, it's very customizable. So you can, you can pretty much change the look and feel of Redmap 5 as to how you want it. Now, let's look under the bonnet of it. How does it all fit together? So there's several ways you can get documents into Redmap 5. All right, so the first way is um, via the Outlook add-ins, via the Office add-ins. They've all been upgraded to work with the latest Microsoft Offices. Um, and so you can still publish your emails and your Word documents, etc., directly out of the Office environment. We've also created, uh, from a scanning point of view, a, another little app. So these are really the only pieces of software left that you can download, license-free, roll out to all your desktops, and we call it My Redmap. And My Redmap pretty much is a scanning utility. It allows you to plug in to your local scanning environment, scan and index very, very efficiently. Uh, and push the documents up to the cloud or to your own server environment, and then everything from then on happens via the web. So literally at that point, uh, you can access, I've got there the Redmap Cloud Document Management, but it can be your own cloud environment or your own server environment. And then, as I said, the audience for these documents can be both internal, external, and completely any device as long as it's internet connected. Okay, so just moving forward now, I'm going to start with a quick demo. Um, as I said, this will be very brief because we've got a, quite a, a diverse audience on board at the moment, so it's not going to be tailored to anyone in particular. And I'm going to start with my Redmap application. So if you look at what's in front of you now, my Redmap is very similar to your Manage Point environment in that you have a queue of documents down here, all right? Um, and up here you, you've got a viewing view of the document, and then over on the right-hand side you've got some fields. So basically, this is similar to what your in your manage point queue is all about, and that documents can come into your queue. Uh, you can do all the same things as you could do before from your queue. In other words, you can split, file, rename, merge, etc. your documents from within the queue, and also you can index them. Now I've got this very simple interface here with the fields that I've set up, but obviously your ones would be completely different. All right, so whatever fields you currently have would be reflected into my red map with all the necessary drop downs, etc. Okay, so let's just go through a simple indexing um, exercise. I'm going to apply some basic indexing information to this particular document that's in front of you now. Um, so I'll say, okay, the, in, the company name is ACA Pacific. I'll say that it's a sales document for the sales department, and let's say it's a presentation. Um, from today, all right? So I've, I've applied some indexing information. And then I'm going to go up to the top up here, and there's a little button that says File the Document. OK, so I'm going to highlight the document I want to file, and then, then I'm going to file that document. All right? Uh, so literally, hit File. Down here, it's going to say, oh, OK, um, it's pending. And so basically what that means is that document now hasn't been filed yet. It's literally sitting there in uh, a, like a cache mode because I'm not actually online to the to the cloud server at the moment. That means then you can do a lot of scanning offline very quickly, apply indexing um, criteria or meta tags to the actual document, 
and then when you choose to, you can go online. That can be automated or by manually clicking on, on the little button here. So toggling it, it's now going to say it's connecting to the cloud, and down the bottom here, it's going to say, okay, I'm now filing that document. And that document's now gone. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, there's a lot more to it, but I won't go through that for the ex exercise today. And now I'm going to hop into my Outlook just to show you. There's also, obviously, uh, the ability to use your toolbars. So from within Outlook, again, I can highlight an email and say, file it, up will come a form. I can apply it to a certain company or whatever. All right, so that hasn't really changed. It just bypasses the queue. All right, so now, moving on. I'm now going to get onto Red Map Fire, so I've launched my browser. Um, the first thing, it is just a website. So at the end of the day, it's a website because that can live within or externally to your business. Being a website, it's highly customizable. So behind here, there's a, a style sheet. A web editor can go in here, and you can change the look and feel and add your own logos and all sorts of stuff to it. So let me just log in to Red Map Fire. Uh, I'll go straight to our search area. Okay, and basically... What this will present you with is, is the same fields that we had before within my red map, this time now via a browser. Um, they can be laid out in any shape or form you like. But more importantly from here, I can say, okay, I want to search. I can search either by the content, by the field. So let me search for the whole of the ACA Pacific file on a document. All right, and what's going to come back is obviously a search result list of documents. So there's everything in the ACA Pacific search results list, all different types of documents, different dates, etc. Um, there's that document I just had up a second ago, the first page of it. Um, now, for anyone who's used Manage Anywhere before, you'll notice one significant difference between Manage Anywhere, which was web based, and Redmap 5, and that's the fact that we've now inbuilt viewers into it. So one of the downsides of Manage Anywhere, the old Manage Anywhere, was that it was pretty smart 10 years ago, but it aged very quickly as people started getting into the internet to the point where it became very clunky. So you used to have to find the document, you'd click on the search result list with Manage Anywhere, and then you'd have to download the document. So it all became a bit boring. The advantage of this is we now have a, we render a very clear view of the document in the viewer. Um, you don't necessarily have to download the document. Uh, and in actual fact, one of the advantages of this is that the document will now stay on the server forever. Uh, unless you deem to download it or you've got the security to do that. At that point, you can download the document. All right. So uh, from here, you can also email all the same things that you could do before with ManagePoint. You pretty much do now from within your browser. Um, over here, there's a, there's a couple of interesting new things we've added. For example, there is a, there is a document history created with the document. Now, document history basically means... Um, every time you add or delete something to a document, so whether you change the meta tags or you try to print a document or delete it, or it recreates an audit trail. And that audit trail is very handy from a compliance point of view. You can see everything that's happened against that document. Um, let me try and find one that's actually got one against it. I haven't got any against any, but that, that's what happens anyway. Um, and then you've got document discussion. Now, document discussions are uh, almost like a, a, a wiki or a, or a notice board where you can add criteria against a document and that will now stay forever against that document. Okay, so uh, you imagine you've got a document, you want to have a discussion with your peers around that, that will then create a, a document trail and a, an audit trail of all the comments that have been added to that particular document. Now that's pretty much all there is to it from the point of view today. Now the little tab over here you'll notice I've got called My Works. Now, I won't, I won't go into that today because that's for the next session. So the next session next week is all about automation and process automation and workflow. That's pretty much what My Works is. So up until now, we've had a workflow engine that we've deployed to do things like accounts payable automation and sales order and automation and expense management, lots of other things. Uh, it's been a separate product. We have now inbuilt this into RedMap 5. It's a standard part of the product. So all our clients now can have access to some form of automation, be it simple or complex. So any process in the bot in your business now where a document goes from one person to the next person to the next person and needs to be dealt with before being filed, you can look at automating that with escalations and rules and all sorts of stuff within the workflow side of the business. So I'd suggest you look at this next week at the next session. I'm just going to move to my dashboard because this highlights um, 
something new again that we've introduced into Redmap. Um, the dashboard is like your home page. And the dashboard, first thing it's doing is it's highlighting the reporting capabilities now that you get with Redmap 5. Now, in front of you there are a couple of reports. They're both graphical. We call them widgets because they are actually graphical widgets. But the reports can be very simple down to just lines that you can export to Excel. But the advantage of these reports is if I was, for example, pretend I'm an accounts ma payable manager and I've got you know, several hundred invoices going through a process being approved by various people across the organization, I'd like to know at any point in time what the status of those invoices are. And very quickly I can see that I've got 397 invoices still pending approval in the process. All right? I've also got um, a few down here, eight or so or six or so that have been rejected. And by clicking on that, it'll take me straight through and show me those six invoices that been, have been rejected with reasons as to why they've been rejected as well. So if you think of along the lines of any process or any document within the business, you've got access to see who's doing what, how many contracts are coming up in the next three months, who has what on their queue. There's a whole bunch of reasons why you'd actually want to be using a reporting capability, and now you have it with Redmap 5. Um, these reports, as I said, can be very graphical. The secondary report that I have over here is literally just a pie chart of that report over there, but it shows that you can create different formats, etc. Now, there's a lot more to Redmap 5 than what I've shown you, but I am bound by time. We're now getting close to time up. Um, did we let me hop back into here again? So the next steps from our point of view are, look, we'd really like to talk to you about um, Redmap 5. It is, a, it is a big jump for us, um, and it's uh, allowing us to now have a very aggressive upgrade path for our product. Um, we already have some significant enhancements already ready to be dropped, um, and they're sitting in the wings ready to be actually deployed. Uh, and as I said, Redmap 5 just lends itself now to a whole bunch of new functionality that we can bring to the table. Um, I also suggest if you've got time to visit our website, uh, redmap.com. Um, we've rebranded and, and, and re, uh, redone the website, so there's a whole bunch of new documents and new case studies, etc., on the website that target pretty much what we're, we're going through and, and provide you a snapshot of where we're heading with our software over the next very short amount of time. I'm now heading 17 minutes, so I'm under time, which is good. Look, I appreciate you giving up your afternoon or 15, 20 minutes of your time this afternoon. Um, I'll, I'll bid you adieu. I look forward to talking to you. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact us um, um, or contact me at redmap.com. Um, there's our address, and uh, you will be hearing from us over the next week or so anyway. Thank you very much for your time, and goodbye for, for now. Bye-bye.